work on the relationship you share with your ahankara and mamakara understand the relationship you share with your inner identity and the identity you project outside if both of them are aligned the brow center is active high energy expresses through you if both of them have conflict non integrated in authentic then anya chakra collapses inside you you always project yourself lower than what you are and outside you you always project yourself higher than what you are please listen inside you always project yourself lower than what you are outside you always project yourself higher than what you are the brow center is blocked when you are mamakara and ahankara are not aligned whenever there is a mismatch in what you believe as you inside you and what you project as you outside you you are living with failure understand this is the right word i'll use your plan for life is failure please understand if you plan for miracles miracles will go on be happening in your life if you plan for failure failures will go on be happening in your life it's like a sword which is sharp on both sides rubbing you constantly on one side the inauthenticity of your mamakara is pulling you down and the other side the inauthenticity of your ahankara is pulling do- pulling you down please listen when you don't integrate this two your mamakara and ahankara in both places you will be shrinking if you align both the first thing will happen is you don't need to remember how you need to project you that's the biggest relief i tell you even in the sleep or waking state i don't need to remember at all how i should project me i just wake up and come out because the mamakara and ahankara are so aligned i don't need to remember constantly how i should project me that's the first freedom will happen to you that's what i call easy going in easy going you don't need to remember how you need to project you in e going every inch for you to go you need to remember either life is easy going or e going what i mean by the word aligning let's analyze let's understand how to align the inner identity and outer identity first you need to understand both the pieces and you have to know what kind of a connection they enjoy or they don't they may not even have connection when your anya chakra is collapsed you are wounded on both sides wounded on outside and inside both the easy going life does not happen you can see very clearly people who are egoistic 
they became very serious and diseased. How to align them? It takes little realigning of your life for which you are afraid. That is where the problem is. You just have to decide you are not going to be doing the drama of having mamakara and ahankara separate. I am not saying you should be true to your mamakara. Whatever you feel inside you as you, just tell that, show it to the outer, outside. No. Because what you feel inside as a equal lies than what you show as outside. What you show as outside, if there is a 50 lies in that. What you feel as inside you, that also has a 50 lies. One of the biggest two problems human beings face is they think we should just show what we are from inside. Even inside you are not what you are. What will you do about that? Even what you feel as you inside is not but you are. So aligning, aligning means if you want to stick two things, in both you have to put a fevical. So for alignment, both needs to be aligned. First thing, remove lies from both. Don't try to make your inner identity just like outer identity or outer identity just like inner identity. When I say aligning, what usually you will first try to do? Outside you show you are a courageous person. Then what you do? You try it inside also let me become courageous. You tell yourself, I am courageous, I am courageous, I am courageous. That is what is positive thinking. All positive thinking is loose thinking. No, that is not going to work. And otherwise you think, all right, I, inside I am a powerless fellow, I will show the same way outside. Then you start telling, see, what am I? Oh, nothing works. And you bring inauspiciousness to you and anybody who sees you. <laughs> Align. what you feel as you inside and outside. How you know? Not by pushing the outer identity inside or not by pulling inner identity outside. No. All of you understand the mistake you usually do? I am giving you one example. Inside, you are very frightened. Outside, very courageous. Then what do you do? You try to, aligning means, oh, inside I will tell myself, I am courageous, I am courageous, I am courageous. Then when the problem comes, I am courageous, I am courageous, I am courageous, I am courageous. No, that is not aligning. That is what you do in the name of positive thinking. Not really. All known positive thinking techniques are nothing but the junk of the outer identity which is supposed to be discarded even from outer identity is being inserted forcibly into your inner identity. Like what you took out through enema is being inserted through the infection. <laughs> No, I am giving you the very visual <laughs> which you took out through anima is supposed to be removed from your house itself. 
but you get a glucose bottle <laughs> what and send the whole thing inside that is what is your positive thinking most of the time the lies of your outer identity which was rejected by your inner identity you think that sank should be infused into your inner identity no whatever is rejected in your outer identity by inner identity that is lie throw it away whatever is rejected in your inner identity by the outer identity that's a lie throw it away your positive thinking is not aligning there's an another one thing you try to do to align go on talking about what you think as you to others that is what you do lying down in the couch of the psychiatrist you think by telling whatever you feel as you you are becoming authentic no whatever you think as you is not you neither by pulling the inner identity outside nor by pushing outer inside you are going to align between outer and inner identity this is the first lesson you need to know you need to know how alignment will not happen only then i can teach you how alignment can happen this is like you try to fly by pulling your shoe laces you decide you should fly that's the first statement second thing how to fly if you pull yourself you can fly third what is the best way my shoe laces come you know where will you fall trying to fly by pulling the shoe laces is not going to work then what is the way to align whatever you show as outer identity and not accepted by the inner identity like a, when if you show what you show to the outer world if you pen down there are many characters many things your inner identity will not accept a hey, it is not true it is not true it is not true then throw all that say i will not project all this anymore i will not empower all this anymore i will not repeat words or actions which shows these parts and same way write an essay about your inner identity what do you think as you feel as you many things your outer identity will reject in that you will say i am a frightened guy so many ideas you will be having i am a coward i run away and all that but your outer identity suddenly will tell no it is not the case many time we won the game many time we showed courage please understand aligning of both identities will literally end up in no identity understand will end up in no identity drop whatever complain your inner identity does about outer identity drop whatever complain your outer identity has about inner identity this is the assignment now you need to do it's a 2 minutes assignment after that i'll give you another one elaborate work or first this 2 minute assignment describe all the qualities of your outer identity one one side 
other side all the qualities of your inner identity what you feel as you what you project as you like a quality one by one one by one one by one you write then we will have fight between these two whatever this one does not want in him remove whatever that one does not want in him remove then finally there will be few qualities both want in each other when you align identity will disappear you will live that easy going life what is easy going life not having any weight while you do all your life that's all not having either fear or worry or weight or anxiety when all this is not there naturally you are not there then who is there because you always identified yourself only with all these things when i became enlightened first thing i felt is oh god i am lost whom i used to remember as me is not there anymore somebody else is sitting but that somebody else when i settled with him i realized only this is me earlier the guy who was there only somebody else let's do this assignment 